What's going on folks? Hicks back here with another video out here on the BMX in the city of Angels, South Central California. Perfect day, beautiful, sunny weather. And we're going for a bike ride. Look at that truck, that thing's sick. <laughs> I've been aching for the sun. It's been cloudy every day in LA for the last like a uh, week straight. So today, even though it's a little bit of a windy day, we're out here in the streets. We got three stops we're gonna make, two parks, and one other location you will see as you watch the video where we end up. It's gonna be a good day, lots to see, lots to explore. And we're gonna get started right here on Broadway and 42nd Street. If you guys wanna see the raw footage, everything that I cut out, click on the second channel, first link in the description. It has the unedited content. Get the ride started, here we go. Okay. <sighs> Get things started on a BMX bike. Of course, right off the bat, we're gonna 180. Wow, 180's feeling good. Right here on Broadway and 42nd, a little bit of a different location where we usually start. I had to come and check out this gigantic pile of trash. That's really all I could say is that um, it's a gigantic pile of trash and it's unclear why this is here. The last time I rode past this street, this was not here. And that was only, uh, I, you know, maybe a month ago on my Sauron. Oh, sh we got the mini bike. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jeez, dude, those things are so cool, but I just got I got a face full of his exhaust. I was trying to catch up to him to say, hey, I think I recognize him. Those mini bikes are so popular out here in South Central. They've got like uh like it's basically a lawnmower engine and uh just really tiny like 10-inch supermoto wheels and they just they just go. Anyways, we're gonna check out our first alley right here. Right off of 42nd Street. Getting things started at a very high. Ooh number you know usually i start around like 51st but uh we're gonna take an alley cruise to get to the first park of the day which is up here on the left alleys of south central it has been years since i took this ride on my bmx so i'm pretty excited to do it again i came through here not too long ago on the suron but uh, as you guys all know it is a much different experience doing it on the bmx and one thing i'm gonna have to keep my eye open for while i'm riding along today is traffic Ooh. Such a windy day. I hope you guys can't hear the wind. It's insanely windy, but you know, our windscreen usually does a great job of taking care of the wind. We're gonna mop. Straight. Nice graffiti back here. Very nice, that's cool. As we go straight, we're gonna make this left up here. Our first stop of the day is gonna be a skate park that uh, I haven't checked out in years. I've been looking for it for the longest. And now that I actually looked at the map for the first time before I started my ride today, I realized that it was just right down the street from me the whole time. Oh, he's... <laughs> What's up, dude? He's playing that copyright stuff. I'm gonna have to edit this out, so. to make a left right here on San Pedro Place. Off the grid, I'm trying to talk extra loud so you can't hear the copyright music. I'm trying not to get the strike. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, wow, look at this. Fresh fire just happened. You can always tell when a fire was hap it has happened recently because, uh, you know, you see charred up stuff and it's not clean. One thing about LA is that the fires happen kind of all over the place, but usually they get cleaned up relatively quick, even down here in the hood. But uh, as far as this one, it must have just happened. Besides that, we got a little bit of tagging and it stinks back here. A little bit of a uh, sign to let you guys know where we're at, 41st Street. Like I said, we started on 42nd. So that's actually that way. Right here, we're on 42nd. Ooh, hopefully I popped over that, whatever that puddle was. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. We're going to bunny hop over this wall that goes into grass. And keep it going. So we're looking for San Pedro Street, San Pedro, whatever it is. Oh, it's right here. Boom. So we're going to make a left, go down the street a little bit. The skate park should be up on our right. Got the ATV. You know, one thing I'm noticing riding around here compared to when I used to, you guys know I've been making videos in these neighborhoods for, I mean, hey, four or five years. A lot of these areas is, is very close to where I grew up. So I know the streets like the back of my hand, like all the all the alleys and the getaways. And, you know, and then sometimes I do get stuck. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Anyway, the skate park's up here on the right. We're going to keep on San Pedro Street until we get closer. Look at that art. That's sick. Uh, a little bit of a different change of pace. This is where we are going to start the video, or I, what am I saying? I don't know. Skate park. We're gonna ride through it and then keep going. Just real quick, see what's going on. A lot going on here. I right, stop one on the day, skate park right here off of San Pedro Street. Pedro, Pedro. Someone correct me in the comments. I don't know if I'm saying it right. A couple of spots around here besides the skate park. What's up, dude? Uh, and then we're gonna keep it moving from there down through the neighborhoods to the second park. Keep it going. And uh, that's where we start. 
What's up, brother? Oh, How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Yep. <laughs> yeah, good, man. Uh, he's a wizard, a giant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, yeah. All right, well, let's see what's going on. I feel like I need some air. Definitely need some air in my back tire what have we here we have a handrail i haven't grinded a handrail in a long time you need to really center your balance we're gonna go for it nice oh my god check out this handrail over here it's kind of sticky all right and there's some ledges outside of the park That's like a workout. Okay, not bad start to the day. A little skate park action. Skate parks are just whoo, like going to the gym. In five minutes, I feel like I got a 30 minute workout. All right, we're up here on Avalon Street. See, look, that's just a sign that no matter how much I keep riding, there's always more progress to be made. There's some kids on mini bike. Let's see if we can catch them. BMX tour continues. We're gonna make this right on Avalon. We're going to another park. Let's go. Alrighty, right turn going southbound on Avalon. Ooh, we got a sick alley though. I think we're gonna have to detour and check that out. That's a must. When you guys see this alley, you're gonna thank me. It looks very unique. I think we're good to go. We got the bus and we got the dual palm trees. You guys know I love that. All right. Let's check it out. Seems to be a pretty clean alley actually. For the most part i feel like i recognize this church from something before but ooh. let's go ahead and start mobbing down we're actually still very close to downtown la like if i wanted to i can make a left and be in downtown in like eh, 10 minutes or so so once we start really going south like uh to this like 60s 70s 80s and by that i mean the street numbers that's when uh look at this building it's pretty sick that's when you start to see like uh you know a little bit more of a hectic side of South Central, but we're just taking it easy for now. Nice and smooth. Anyways, this alley's cool. It's a little, a little bit less interesting than I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna make a right coming up right up out of here. A little bit of tagging all over the place. So that is just completely illegible. I have no idea what any of that said. There's that. Put this right going into traffic room and we're off. I see a pretty sick sidewalk bump. I wanna jump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there's another alley. We gotta check it out. Especially because that's the same way we're going anyway. Look at this little mini market. Bro, talk about the cut. This looks like a house, but it is a liquor store. It's very cool. I don't really need anything or I'd go up in there. Anywho, trying to look left and right as much as possible crossing these streets. They are uh, hectic to say the least. The drivers are not looking out for a guy on a BMX bike. I can say that much. A little bit more artwork back here. Very cool. Oof, still catching my breath from the skate park session. Trying to give you guys some shots of the alley as I go down. A little bit of tagging here and there. Nothing, nothing too crazy though. Nothing we haven't seen before, you know? Like I said, we're, we're still in the 40s. So we got a ways to go south, at least another 10 blocks. But once we get back out to Avalon, we're gonna make a left and start going down to the next park. Down that way, I think there's gonna be more to see. So stay tuned. Bunny hopping socks, <laughs> straight up socks. His place says, I love Karen. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Someone's gotta love the Karens. Back on Avalon Boulevard, headed southbound. Check out the sidewalk. I think I need some air in my back tire. Sorry, I'm only starting to catch a flat. I mean, it was low key not enough right there. I did not wanna ride past him and scare him. Hey, a clean Supra just parked in the hood? <laughs> That's crazy. Super clean and a clean Lexus too. Those things were like immaculate. A little bit dirty on the Super, but it was a nice car. The only way that you get away with stuff like that is if you're well connected all up and down the block. And judging by how you guys work, I bet someone's gonna know who that Super owner is and tag him and be like, hey, look, your car's in the video. If you see this, nice car. All right, we got super sidetracked once again, but it's all good. This is perfect for the uh, second channel viewers. If you're watching the extended VOD, you're gonna have a great time. More stuff to see. Right up here on McKinley, we're gonna take a right turn, keep going southbound. We're ultimately gonna end up at another park that's very unique. And I think you guys are gonna, oh, you see him? 
There goes the mini bike kids. They're mobbing, bro. They're going like 40 miles an hour. No helmets. What's that, Cadillac? That thing's nice. Let's see if we can catch them with the next light. I don't think so, though. They're out of here. Oh, no, they are up there. Let's see if we can get them. We might be able to. Oh, look at this ledge. I got to come back and grind this. This is fire. Yeah, they're out of here. I don't think I'm going to catch them. I just might, but the, the light's already green. You can hear them spooling up. Let's see if we can split traffic a little bit to catch them. Oh, you see them up in front of me? They're there. If I got doored right now, it'd be all bad. We're going back on the sidewalk. I'd rather deal with pedestrian traffic than a door. <laughs> so getting doored means when you're splitting in that bike lane, someone who's parked opens their driver's side door. And you have about 0.1 second to react with that. When someone opens the door on you, you like you either don't see it and you run into it and uh, go to the hospital, or you catch it in time and you swerve and you swerve directly into oncoming traffic coming behind you. Yeah, that's one big reason I ride on the sidewalk for those who wonder. A big proponent of sidewalk riding in Los Angeles. I think that uh, until they really fix the infrastructure for riding a bike out here, I'm gonna be on the sidewalk. That's just what it is. I'd rather take a ticket if that's even a ticketable offense, deal with that than get literally hit by a car. <laughs> you know, let me know your guys thoughts in the comments, but that's how I feel and uh, ain't much gonna change my mind. Oh, they got the bread. Looking nice. You know, at the same time I got uh, matrix level handles. So, in case you know what you're doing, I suggest you beware riding around in the streets of LA. You might make the wrong person mad and uh, have to pay for it. Speaking of paying, what's this right here? Let me know in the comments. Yep, look at that Accord, fire. We are wilding out. Still southbound, going to check my phone. Dang, we're all the way on Central. How do we get over here? Okay, well, that's where we're at. Right on 51st, left on Athlon. Looks like the police are pulling up. No, it's an ambulance. Dressers on peg right here. It's all like straight dog poop. 180 over the, uh, whatever that was. <laughs> whatever liquid that was, I hopped over it. So far, great day out here in South Central, literally on Central Avenue right now, and uh, 48th Street. So that just goes to show we need to go south about three more blocks, and then um, we're going to make a right. So we're going to go westbound back towards Avalon, which is where we originally got lost at. That's how far off the beaten path we've gone today. So it's going to be a heck of a ride, to say the least. Here we go. Right off we go. That was kind of, <laughs> that was a little sketchy. I was like, oh, I hope no one else pops up right there. This looks like a bike shop. I see a bunch of uh, cool looking bikes right here. Interesting. Hey, Zeus bike shop. Excuse me. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? What's up, dude? How you doing? Hey, hey. Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Okay. It's funny when uh, I, when I'm out here in South Central and cops look at me and they see me and I've got a camera on my chest and I'm on my bike. I feel like some of the sometimes they look at me and they think I am like one of their partners. They're trying to figure out if they know me or not. It's kind of bizarre. I gotta say, it is uh, it is strange. Is it out of the ordinary? Yes. I don't really catch that too much. It's mainly when I'm down here. Most of the time, cops will give me this look like, okay, that's a crazy guy on a BMX bike with a camera on his chest. And then other times I get that, which is like, uh, it's almost like they're, oh, he's swinging that thing. I just got that. Got a little too close for comfort right there, honestly. To be honest, I had no idea that bike shop existed. Good to know. If I'm ever out here on 50th and Central, what is going on? Uh, this is a bike shop right here. We're going to take a couple more detours. 51st Street is the next street up. We're on 50th. And uh, keep it moving. See what we run into between here and there. Go to the next park. Figure it out from there. Keep moving. That's what we do. Okay, we're going to keep on mobbing. Down uh, 50th, we're taking a lap around the block. And then we're going to keep going southbound. How you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? Oh, that's a loose dog. Okay, we're gonna keep going straight. I was gonna hit that alley, but I saw a dog. It did have a collar, but it was walking around like it didn't have an owner. So uh, I'm not really that big of a fan of that. So uh, oh, I got a nice charger right here. I'm gonna keep going in the biggest loop around the neighborhood of all time. Getting where we wanna go though. And so far, just having so much fun riding around. Such a nice day for a cruise. I was gonna ride something either way. And uh, like I said, as the summer keeps getting nicer, the only bike I really wanna ride is this one. It's just, I've been having so much fun cranking this BMX around. Anyways, we're, we're freaking, we are out here now. We're on Hooper, you know, South Central. Hooper is, uh, that means you're out here. Hooper and 50th, we're gonna check out this new alley. Just alley cruising for now. I don't know how we ended up here, but uh, we're gonna check this one out. See what's going on in the alleys. 
I never really go east of Hooper because east of Hooper, or once you hit Hooper and you keep going east, you start getting into this weird part of South Central. Some cool art, but I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, uh, it's a very strange vibe. It's kind of hostile, it's kind of industrial. Look, we got a loose dog. Luckily it's tiny. Oh man, yeah, it's definitely stray. Hopefully you find your home, buddy. Anywho, got some big tagging right there, BMS something. That was a cool alley, but we are going, we've gone so far off track so far, and I am actually worried that I'm gonna run out of batteries. We're already on battery number three out of like, how far? This has gotta be like 30 minutes in tops. You guys watching the rock cut, let me know how far in we are, but we're on the third battery already. One of them died on the way here. Anyways, yeah, anyways, let's keep going. We are almost at the park that I wanted to check out. We passed 51st Street, which is the one that I wanted to turn down. That was back that way. So we're gonna make a right right here on 53rd. We gotta make it all the way back to Avalon and then figure out where this park is at. And that's what we're doing. Stay tuned. Papa 180 over this hill. So the neighborhoods out here are like, Oh wow, I had to swing that one around. It was a little, <laughs> a little slow motion. Oh, I thought this was the park. That is not the park. <laughs> it's just a tiny little, nothing going on there. Yeah, we got a ways to go. We got, <laughs> just realized we're still back at Hooper. So we actually have a long way to go. Drop in folks, second channel viewers, content coming up. Such a great day for riding around. The only thing I change is I wish it was a little less windy. I don't know, you guys probably won't be able to tell. You're never able to tell how windy it is on some of these days I'm filming. But today is like, the wind is so strong, it's almost pushing me back from the direction I'm trying to go, which uh, goes to show how good this windscreen on I have is. But at the same time, it kills the battery. It pretty much cuts my battery life in half. And uh, that's, that's, that's what it does. And then it helps the wind, but we're gonna try and crawl. Get to this alley right here. Let's go. All right, this alley, it's gonna get us actually back on track. So you can't beat that. All I'm hoping is that we don't run into a dog. Cause if so, you guys are gonna see my BMX muscles work. A lot of tagging back here. I mean a lot. Like you guys have seen in some of these videos, some of the alleys will have absolutely no tagging and then others have tons of it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't actually know why. I mean, I'm sure there's some type of jurisdiction out here where it's like a, a mutual respect where some alleys don't have a bunch of taggings and then others do. But uh, I couldn't tell you why, I really couldn't. I mean, here is like a mixture of art, as you can see, but there's also like a lot of gang taggings. Like right here, this is not art. That's a, uh, you know, that's uh, that's gang scripts. So uh, yeah, and that guy sitting down did not look friendly. <laughs> Let's just keep going. With that said, checking my back in these alleys, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay alert. You gotta check left, right, front, center, rear, everything. Anyways, coming up on Central, Boom. Fast car, bro. That alley actually saved us a bunch of time. So we can go up here and make a right on 55th Street. Get around this school bus. Hopefully we don't get cut off. Straight up cruising. Nice truck right there. We have to cross right here. So that's the goal. Looks like we got another alley to the left too. We could check out these alleys all day. I mean. It's funny how usually I have a hard time finding them. Today it's like they're just popping up left and right. Good times in South Central so far. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we gotta get across the street. Let's go. That chicken spot looks fire. Look at this big gang taggings right here. Look at that. They even got taggings on the uh, tents. Kind of crazy. All right, up here on McKinley. This is where if we go south right here, like that way, uh, we get to that, um, you know, the RVs. Like it's a little RV town down there. That's, uh, we'll check that out another day on the BMX. But today, I really want to make it to this park. Looks like we're going to run straight into it if we just keep going straight. So let's see how that goes. Bro, look at this absolute monster just parked in front of this dude's house. Was that a Chevelle? That thing is <laughs> sick. More classics. Wow. These are probably pop brand new in the 70s and 80s. Very cool. Wow. The wind is just like unbearable. I know you guys, I keep talking about the wind. You can't hear it, but it sucks. Okay. I think the park's in front of us. So we're going to keep going straight. Make this YouTube. Oh my God. Whoa. Big <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're out here, man. We, <laughs> we are in the depths right now, to say the least. Oh, South Central, but we're going to keep going straight. Excuse me. Thanks. I think this is the park right here. Oh wow, yeah, this is it. So this is the South LA Wetlands Park. I've never been here, surprisingly. Look how nice this is, right in the middle of uh, South Central. Very nice though. Sights and sounds, I even got a porta potty. 
Very cool. We're gonna keep mobbing. I just wanted to come see this for the first time. It doesn't look like there's anything to ride, so we're gonna keep going straight across the bridge. Here we go. It's over this little bridge they got. The thing about this park is it's so well fenced in, I can't get out now. <laughs> I wanna, I'm trying to get back out to the street right there, but I'm stuck. I gotta go all the way around. There's gotta be another way out. There's gotta be. There's no way. There's just one way in and out. Okay, looks like we do have to go all the way back, bro. I wonder why that is. It's probably to keep you, you know, stuck inside if you, uh, I mean, if I did a crime here, I'm just gonna hop the fence, right? Like, what's the point of not having multiple exits? If anything, wouldn't you want more exits? So if something happens, you can like go that way. <laughs> what's the point of keeping everyone trapped inside and have one way in and out? All right, well, there's second location of the day. Struck off the list back here on Avalon. Traffic is coming in hot, man. It's about to be that time where uh, it's hard to get around the streets. Dude, I auto automatically feel so much better not being stuck in that park. It's kind of weird how that was uh, not where I wanted to be. We're gonna smash back up. Let me go back up Avalon, see what's going on. Very clean route way in back. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. All righty. Let's go ahead and pop off the sidewalk for a hot second. South Central. Oh, we got a nice little bit of alley cruising. Nice little shot of the neighborhoods too. We're gonna stick on the main street for a while here and see what's going on. Heading back towards, uh, you know, the 40s where we gotta go. We gotta go quite a ways right now. We're on 51st Street. Oh, there's another park here. This park is actually kind of nice. Should we check it out? Kind of parked out. <laughs> this one, thankfully, doesn't have a fence. Dude, that guy. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey. Luckily, I know the tactics to not go down on my bike, but yeah, this park uh, looks pretty unfriendly. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that. You guys can't see as much as I can through the GoPro, but the looks I'm getting, got the double palm trees, which is nice, but I don't see much going on there worth uh, going in at this time of the day, maybe in the morning or something like that. I'm gonna go check that out. Nothing to really ride. Maybe a Suron spot in the future. Why am I hearing so many birds? Oh, they're in the tree. I'm like, what the hell? Are they for sale? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Continuing to cook up Avalon flies and stuff getting in my mouth oh some of you guys commented on the other day when i went on my figaro ride you're like should have gone a couple more blocks south trust me i know i know why you guys wanted to see me go a few more blocks south maybe one day but uh yeah you guys are something else man all right <coughs> just jumping around we still got quite a ways to push we covered a lot of ground today i want to say like uh six miles so far all said, oh my god, literally just bunny hopping the poop. Sheesh. I need some air in my back tire for sure. Uh oh, we got a lady and a dog. Can I get there? Oh, uh, apparently the dog. Yeah, the dog. Thanks, gracias. See, riding around with a GoPro is a double-edged sword. One, everybody looks at you, but two, you know, you commandeer a certain authority because everybody wants you to get away from them, which is fine by me. I'm just out here mobbing. Oh God, I'm closing my mouth. There's just so many flies right there. Jeez, heck of a journey so far out here in Vernon and Avalon gonna make a left i'm straight up out of breath folks i don't know i just got it in you guys if you're watching the long extended cut on the second channel you're seeing how much i actually did and everything i cut out because uh it's been a bit of a marathon we're gonna cut down some of these alleys these are the most turned up alleys of the entire ride so far so stay tuned you're not gonna want to miss these it's about to get hectic all right we gotta we gotta cross right here we're on vernon this is where we're ultimately gonna go back to but we need to get across the street. We're just gonna go back up to the crosswalk because it is just, like I said, it's traffic hour. There's a lot going on. Your boy is not trying to get hit by a car. Today. So we're gonna cross. Hey, look, there's a kid we saw at the beginning. <laughs> we saw him at the start of the ride, remember? Oh, look, we <laughs> got a taco spot. This place is cracking. Well, 
little too many eyeballs on me for right there. So we're gonna go ahead and spin the block right here. Okay, so there's that alley. I'm gonna go ahead and keep mobbing. Wow, that was a, uh, I don't know what I was expecting going down that one, but it was, I lived in a, oh man, if I told you guys some of the stories about where I grew up and the things I grew up around, you straight up, you straight up probably would not believe me, straight up. I, I genuinely didn't think that. A lot of you guys wouldn't even believe some of the stuff I have to say about the things I grew up in my own household dealing with. That's why I like when I come out here and ride through South Central, Compton, all that stuff, part of it kind of brings me back, but at the same time, I'm like, man, <laughs> I ain't trying to get all preachy and stuff, but crossing the street and we're going to mob back to Vernon and wrap this ride up. I wanted to hit this, this weird little island. Why are cars parked here? Oh. We didn't hit that many tricks today, you know? Today was a very calm day as far as doing tricks, but it's all good. I'm a little bit sore. I have this weird soreness in my left arm. Okay. Just got a little bit of ground to cover for uh, we get back to where we're trying to be. It's so windy right now. Oh man. The wind has made everything twice as hard today just trying to get around is such a chore oh yeah yeah hopefully next time we come out down here to south central and film it is not this windy oh man yeah as you guys can tell because i've quieted up quite a bit it is taking all my energy just to get back to where we started today Nice route though. I know a lot of you guys want to see the routes I take on like Strava, but there's a reason I don't do that for obvious reasons. I mean, if you know where I'm at, you know, but I don't need everybody going on my routes and trying to like, you know, run into me. That could, uh, could end badly. You know, I don't think I need to explain any further on that one. Tacos Galivan, fire, actually fire spot. Uh, finally back up on Broadway, only a few more blocks to go. Straight up, feel like I just ran like 10 miles out here. Let's go. I'm so hungry. Everything smells so good. I just rode past that gas station and for some reason it smelled like bread, like fresh bread. Maybe there's a bakery behind it. I don't know. Either way, I am starving. Haven't had any food today. Off we go. We got the beautiful 110 freeway in dead stop traffic. Uh, yeah. I'll be joining you guys right now, don't worry. Just wait for me. Look at all these taco trucks. Yum. I might hit one of those up, it smells so good. But I don't have, look at this bumper right here, what the heck? If you guys liked the video, make sure you comment down below, let me know what your favorite part was. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the second channel in the comments, in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>